Hello, I'm Tim Davis. I'm head of channel for Symantec, and to my left is Gail Calderwood. She manages distribution for UK and Ireland. Um, in the short time I've got today, or we've got today, I should say, we've um, we wanted to address two things really. The firstly is why security is a major challenge for most organisations globally today. And secondly, why it really is, should be the number one conversation that you have with your customers today. And then really as part of that, we want to obviously demonstrate to you why you should partner with Symantec. Sony, HSBC, Talk Talk, Ashley Madison, all companies you should be familiar with. Maybe not the last one as much, <laughs> but the first three, without a doubt, they're all big organisations that spend millions on a yearly basis on security, yet they still breached year in, year out. Why is that? Well, through the work Symantec have done for a number of years, and also if you look at things like IDC, Gartner, all the industry and sort of threat analysis organisations out there, they all point roughly to sort of four key areas. The first area is, well, mainly around the fact that there is... It, basically there's 2 million new malware var var uh, variants being analysed on a daily basis or being found on a daily basis. Um, you know, we, we've now got um, sophistication of malware and sophistication of attacks. For example, malware now, 30% of it coming through and attacking organisations is virtual machine aware. So they'll sit there quietly waiting for the machine to sort of, you know, materialise itself, knows that it's on a virtual machine and once it's on a full production environment it detonates and explodes and gets you by it. So, the sophistication and the number of viruses we're seeing out there at the moment is totally outstripping the capability of organisations to be able to deal with it and prioritise. Also, you've got the old adage where companies used to say, or organisations used to say, strength in depth. So they've gone on and put boxes, tool sets, software. They've put different technologies at different parts of their environment and architecture, and they're not talking to each other. So the bad guys, unfortunately, these days, because the sophistication, live in the shadows. So they're being found out. So if you look at some of the statistics there, on average it takes 170 days for an organisation to actually know that it's been breached. And essentially they've got, well, basically 30% of them don't even find it themselves. It's third party organisations that come in and find out that they've been breached. So there's a major, major issue in there. And it's becoming such a big issue that if you look at Talk Talk, for example, it's £45 million pounds is the estimation of how much that one single breach last year cost them when you add everything together. So it's a major issue. The second issue is companies are obviously extending themselves. Companies want to you know, keep up with the times, they want to get higher productivity, so they're obviously estimating now 65% of their workloads are now in the cloud because they want better productivity and better sort of returns from their business. That poses a different, different challenge because obviously outside of the perimeter you need different security. Well, you need the same policies, you need the same security with the same policies, but you need to address it in a different way. And then as part of that, being workloads being out of the cloud, obviously most organisations have got e-commerce sites now. Talk, talk for example, is a denial of service attack on their e-commerce site that actually caused a lot of the problem. So you need to make sure as an organisation that their e-commerce is robust and it's got very good security surrounding it because their customers, once they get a breach, if you as a customer of a bank or something like that get a breach, you're very likely to move away from that organisation and go to somewhere else. And then finally, irrespective of whether they've got the right architecture, the right products and services on there, they invariably can't find the right people to work for them and to give them the right sort of capabilities and skill sets within their organisation to help them narrow down what they're looking for. It's like a needle in a haystack in terms of finding where the threats are coming in and what they're targeting and putting a business context around what's going on in their, in their environment from that threat. So that's why. Why Symantec? Well, Essentially, we, we believe at Symantec, it's no longer a problem with tools. You can't solve this problem with products or tools alone. It's an intelligence war now. It always has been for the last few years. And as Symantec, we believe we're in the number one position to be able to help. We, we see more. We see more than any other organisation. We've got the largest threat intelligence database of any other company on the planet. There's only a few government agencies that have got more threat intelligence than ourselves. You see some of the statistics there. You know, over 250 million sensors worldwide. We've got 7 trillion lines of code in our, in our, in our sort of big data platform that, that is basically collecting information from all the products and the services that we have globally. And we're now starting to sort of use that intelligence and bringing it out uh, and bring it into our technologies and through various applications and products to give you opportunity to sort of, um, you know, help your customers identify problems early. So, 
<clears throat> in terms of our portfolio, we mentioned the, I mentioned briefly the four areas at the beginning that we feel are the major, major issues, the major areas where customers are facing challenges. Well our, um, well, our strategy actually mirrors that quite well. So if you look at the first bit, which is the, the mainstay of our sort of uh, portfolios, threat protection area there, you'll see some of the products that you might be familiar with, which is endpoint protection, data center security, and so forth. We are constantly augmenting um, our strategy to try and cope with, with the challenges that we saw on the first slide. In threat protection, for example, we've now launched our ATP technology in there, and we now have an ability to be able to get real-time information from the endpoint, data center, and gateway, correlate, correlate that information into one single location, be able to prioritize automatically which threats are the ones that the organization or the analyst looking at it needs to sort of prioritize, and then one-click remediation. Now, we're one of the few vendors, probably the only vendor out there in the market that's got a capability to be able to integrate all of our core components together and give you one pane of glass in terms of the uh, you know, remediation and uh, prioritizing of the threats. And the same goes in information protection. I mentioned that most of the most of business, well, 65% of businesses outside of the perimeter now, well, that's more of an information problem than it is an infrastructure problem. And we've got similar um, technologies, information protection, to protect the data, protect the user, and to protect the interactions between people, whether it be cloud or whether it be on-premise. And we very, very big on making sure that you as a user, or our customers as users, they have the same look and feel and the same policies they can apply to both cloud and on-premise security challenges. And then at the top, you see cybersecurity. I mentioned earlier that they can't get the right staff. Well, essentially, in those instances, a lot of the organizations we deal with want outcomes rather than products and services. They just want to buy an MSS, which is a managed security service, or they want to buy threats intelligent feeds from us and we do provide that as well and also provide that through our partners who also augment that and, and provide business intelligence around cyber security. And then finally, you know, unified security analytics. We're trying to bring this all together and give an opportunity for our partners to benefit from this intelligence coming out of our, coming out of our big data platform and we can monetize that and put them in applications for you. So. Um, these are some of the reasons why I feel we should partner with Symantec and the number one thing that I think is important for you to understand at the moment is obviously we have the capability to enable you to make a lot of services and get deeper into your customers around the services piece, to wrap services around Symantec because they're extremely service rich organisations. And then now I'm going to hand over to Gail to talk to you about the partner programme, the Bed and In, and give you a lot of the commercial benefits of working with Symantec. Hi everybody, uh, I'm Gail Calderwood, Distribution Account Manager for Symantec. Um, what I want to cover the next few minutes is the, the new, well it was new in October, um, Symantec Partner Programme. Um, those of you who are not familiar with it, hopefully you'll learn something today. Um, if you are familiar with it and you're using it, you'll you probably know some of the benefits, but I just want to make sure that everybody understands what is, what is in it for you uh, in the, the Partner Programme. So similar to the strategy, we have, um, we have uh, two categories and four different competencies. Now, just, just to remind you, your previous programme was a lot more complex. We've tried to simplify it. Um, and everything, whether it's a distribution programme or partner programme or strategy, it all has the same look and feel, so it's easy to understand, easy to follow. So that's the, the reduced uh, competencies. Now... In terms of simplifying the programme, uh, if you're not aware, what we did do is we re removed things like technical validation um, because we did have feedback from resellers that that took up too much time, as well as um, customer references, that took too much time. What we wanted to do was allow our partners to focus on selling uh, and making money. Um, we, on the core uh, competencies, uh, the core section, which is SEP, our core uh, products, um, we're not even asking for any accreditations on that side. Um, so what this shows you is how you move up the tier within a programme. So the main thing is, if you register on PartnerNet, that's all you have to do, straight away there will be a benefit to you. Um, so registered partners can immediately hang on, uh, benefit from a margin builder. So margin builder is 10% upfront discount. Um, and as soon as you register in PartnerNet, that, you get that straight away. Now, as you move up the programme uh, into silver, 
then um, the benefits uh, become a bit better, so it's 20% margin builder. But the good thing is, wherever you are within the programme, whether it's silver, gold, platinum, you get 20% margin builder upfront margin. And then if you look at opportunity registration, so this is a back-end um, back uh, margin that you get, uh, that, as you move up the programme, is 15%. I think of time up, is it? Two, one, one more minute, yeah. Um, but as you progress and uh, you uh, hit... Hang on, let me just... So as you progress, if you get to gold, and we have targets as you progress uh, into the programme, if you hit gold, then it then opens up um, a rebate target, uh, of which from the first pound, dollar, euro that you spend, uh, you would get 3% uh, rebate if you achieve that target. And then if you then progress up to platinum, now to get to, get to platinum, you only have to become competent uh, in one uh, product competency. We don't expect you to be um, scaled up on every product, just one product that suits you best, the one that, that, that you want to work with. If you get to platinum and you achieve that platinum target, you then get back 6% uh, on a rebate. And also, at that level, it opens up 4% uh, funding in terms of development funds. And the other thing is, if you also sell the core products like SEP, if you hit platinum, it opens up the 6%. It's like an umbrella effect where you get that uh, rebate on the uh, core products as well. So this is just to simplify. Uh, it's a lot simpler. You start earning from the very first um, euro, dollar, pound spent. Um, as, you, as you head towards gold, head towards platinum, you earn more money. Um, so it really is a simple product. But I urge you all just to go to PartnerNet, sign up, and straight away you will enjoy uh, the benefits and awards. And if you want any more detail, we can go through at the one-to-ones or uh, catch up over lunch. Thanks very much.